problem, letter case permutation. Given a string s, we can transform every letter individually to be lowercase or uppercase to create another string, return a list of all possible strings we could create. This example, a1, b2. So a and b, each one have uppercase, lowercase. So each letter give us two possible states. So totally have two multiplied two, four possible states. In this one, we only have one letter, which have uppercase, lowercase, totally two states. This one don't have letter, one state. And uh, S will be a string with length between 1 and 12, so that the total states we can possibly have have an upper limit, which is 2 power 12. It want to be insanely large. And S will be consist only of letters or digits. Okay, for each position, we need to tell if this is a digit if there's a digit we don't have branch otherwise we have two branches okay I think this can be solved with recursive let's start at the first position we can have two possible states we can choose either lowercase a or uppercase a if we choose uppercase a the next we can only choose one, no choice. And uh, the next, we can have two possible states, either lowercase b or our, uh, uppercase b. After that, there's no choice. We can only choose uh, one letter. So after we go to uh, this one, we find the string length is one, two, three, four. Uh, and we get a possible state, we can add it to the result. In this case, we can use traceback, we can delete this, and we can delete this. Uh, first, we, we go to the length 4 string at the, here, then we delete this, we delete this, and uh, then we go try this branch, b, then 2, once we reach length 4, we can trace back. We delete this, we delete this, and we delete this, and we delete this. Then we give this branch a try. Okay, the same thing for this branch. The next step have no choice. We must choose 1. Then here we have two choices. We either choose B, no case, or B, uppercase. Then the next, we don't have choice. And uh, once we reach event 4, we delete this, delete this, give this a try, and we get 2. So, use standard traceback, we could uh, solve this problem. The time complexity will be uh, 2 power L. L is a number of letters in this string. The space complexity will be O, um, let's say O string length. So we only need a buffer to string buffer to store the uh, to store the strings we see so far. And uh, only when we reach a length four string, we update the result array. Okay. Let's start to write the code. What data structure we use? We can use NIST, but uh, it's always safe to use set. We don't want a duplicate. String, let's say result, hash set. Create an instance. So, 
um, passing our input a1, b2, and uh, star position 0. And after that, let's Let's print it. And position. Okay. Then what do we need to do? Uh, let's first write a terminal condition. If position above or equal. In this case, we are done. We just have to update the result. Um, oh, we need a string buffer to store the temporary result. And let's pass in. And we are down. Otherwise, this is a current character we are processing. Alright. The first thing is we need to know if this character is digit, right? If that is digit, um, then what do we want to do? We just uh, we just want to add it to our string buffer. And uh, then we can recursively call the so move the position to the next. After that, we should uh, trace back, right? SB init char the lost character is just uh, added. Let's remove it. Okay. If that is not a character, we got two conditions instead of one. So first, let's add the current character as it is. And we do the recursive call, like the digit case. After that, let's remove it. This could have called it through. And uh, so we need to handle the next condition. We need to append we need to append the dual of the current character. Then we recursively call the next position, then finally remove it. Gives the other possible conditions a try. So let's write this door. Private char door. Char C. So if is our purpose. Then let's return the lowercase. Otherwise, let's else let's return uppercase character to uppercase. This is a solution.
if we look at this picture we first we have a our terminal condition is if we reach the length 4 this is the length 4 then we add it to the result and return otherwise this is current character if that's a number then we just uh, add that number we give the next recursive core a try and finally we remove that number step back else right we append the current character recursive core deleted then add it over the character recursive core delete this should work let's check out yeah sure enough we have one of the four and that is the solution